Hello students, welcome to Strenis Math. Today we are going to discuss about control systems all block diagram reduction rules in a single video and corresponding video notes available in each video description. First rule, combining the blocks in cascade. The original block diagram is given. We need to find out the simplified one. If the block diagrams are connected in a cascade, so the result is just multiply. So the final result just multiply these two value g1 times of g2. Final equation y is equal to just multiplied by the forward path x g1 and g2. x times of g1 times of g2. In black diagram reduction, the equation plays a major role here. Reason before and after the final equation is must be same number 2 combining the blocks in parallel in the previous one the blocks connected in series the result is just like a product then the blocks connected in a parallel we just combine for this question the two blocks connected in a parallel and the sign is positive for both so the final result you just combine the block so g1 plus g2 then what is the equation for this place the value of x the same here and after block x into g1 this location x into g2 so the y is equal to just combine because both are positive sign x g1 plus x g2 here the x is the common one so the final value y is equal to x into g1 plus g2 this is the final equation so y is equal to x times of g1 plus g2 already mentioned the equation is must be same before and after simplify the block diagram so here also y is equal to just like x times of g1 plus g2 if the sign is negative for this location the final result y is equal to x times of g1 minus g2 so here also the same instead of g1 plus g2 the final value g1 minus g2 it's purely based on what sign is given third one moving the branch point ahead of the block that means this point is moving to right side the key point the final result is not changed always before and after changing the position now what is y value product of x and g because both are in the same path x and g is the value and bottom side so the same x is moving here so the final result is just x only based on this diagram the equation y is equal to x into g now we change the location the point is moving to right side now x and g this is y what is the answer x and g so the final result is equal to x g
on the bottom the same as g is moving to here but from the question the final result is just x only so we need to remove g here The final result is must be x. We need to divide it by g here. Now both values are matching. xg, xg, and x and x. Fourth one, moving the branch point before the block. That means so this point is moving to left side the block based on the original figure what is the final output so y is equal to just product of x and g value what is the bottom part so the same x and g is here so the final result at the bottom x times of g and this is the final equation y is equal to x times of g now after change the block also we get the same solution what is the actual output now x and g so y is equal to x times of g at the bottom side this position is x only but from the question the original position is x into g but here only x only i already mentioned the final result is not changing always before and after change the block so now we need a g we just adding g value here up to this is x and g then after multiply we get x times g now the final result for this position is also same like original question number five moving the summing point ahead of the block the key point for block diagram reduction the result is must be same so after summing point both positive that means x1 plus x2 here then the summing point and the g is a cascade so from the first rule if blocks and cascade you just multiply directly so the result y is equal to x1 plus x2 times g so this is the final equation y is equal to x1 g plus x2 g then we move the summing point ahead of the block now now what is the result after block x2 g and this one is x1 only then final result y is equal to x1 plus x2 g but the actual value x1 g we need to add one more block here that is g and this one is a x1 now after block it's a x1 g so the final result x2 g plus x1 g so here also g now both results are equal Sixth one, moving the summing point before the block. From the original diagram, what is the actual output? So after G, the result is X1 times G. And after the summing point, the final result Y is equal to X1 times G plus here just X2 only. So X2. This is the final equation. Y is equal to x1 times g plus 
just x2. The key point for block diagram before and after there is no change in output. Now, the summing point is moving to before the block. We get the diagram like this. What is the current output? After summing point x1 plus x2 and is multiplied by g means g times of x1 plus x2. So the final result y is equal to x1 times g plus x2 times g. Now comparing to the original equation, it's not matching. We need to remove this g. So we just add one more block to the x2 portion. x2 then we need to remove g. So this block is 1 divided by g. After the block x2 divided by g. So here x1 plus x2 divided by g. Then after multiply the g will be cancelled. Then the final result y is equal to x1 times g plus x2. Now for both result matching before and after. Seventh one interchanging the summing point x1 positive and x2 negative. So after the first summing point x1 minus x2 then another summing point the input of x3 is a positive sign so after the block the final result x1 minus x2 plus x3 this is the final equation also y is equal to x1 minus x2 plus x3 and for some situation we are not able to simplify directly. We need to interchange the summing point. After interchange the diagram like this. After the first summing point for both positive sign x1 plus x3 is the result. The next x2 is the input and it is a minus sign. So y is equal to x1 plus x3 minus x2. Just rearrange the equation y is equal to x1 minus x2 plus x3. Then before and after the final result is matching now. Eighth one, splitting or combining the summing point. Here the three input is given. So the final output y is equal to just combining all the inputs. And it purely depends on what sign is here. x1 positive. So y is equal to x1. Then x2 negative sign. So minus x2. And another input x3 is positive plus x3. So this is the final equation also. y is equal to x1 minus x2 plus x3. Now we split the summing point. For the first summing point x1 positive and x2 is negative. The same is input of another summing point and the another new input is x3 final result y is equal to x1 minus x2 plus x3. Now before and after both results are matching. The same if in between there is no blocks or branch point means we can able to combine like this also. So 
combine and splitting the summing point is just like vice versa. Elimination of feedback loop. It's pretty easy. Y is equal to the numerator value is forward path gain and the denominator portion is feedback gain. Forward path gain value x and g and it is positive sign. So y is equal to x into g divided by the feedback. It is negative feedback, so the result is positive. 1 plus the gain value g and h. The final part y divided by x is the transfer function. So g divided by 1 plus g h is the final answer. Positive feedback means here negative sign. Feedback is positive, the result is minus. Negative feedback means the result is positive. Now we move for equal and back diagram. What is inside value? The feedback is negative, the result is positive, like g divided by 1 plus g h. If it is positive feedback, the result will become negative value. That's all. Thank you.